I'm sitting beside the painting that has meant more to me than anything I've worked on because as I began working on this piece, I felt as though God's presence was in the room in a new way. This is Sunrise. Sunrise began as an inspiration uh, that has long been in my heart uh, based on a painting that I have admired by Caspar David Friedrich, the great romantic painter from Germany of the early 19th century. And Friedrich's vision of his Christian faith inspired a series of altarpiece paintings that featured a cross on a rugged mountaintop. The inspiration led me to feel that I wanted to reinterpret that theme and create a new painting based on a cross on a mountaintop in honor of the millennium. You know, the turning of the millennium is the pivotal point in human history. And we have seen this last millennium characterized by such darkness, such depth of pain for so many people that I have had in my heart a dream, an optimistic vision, an idealistic hope that the new millennium would not be filled with darkness, but would be the millennium of light. In this painting, I began to develop themes that were symbolic of the hope for the new millennium. Uh, I utilized the image of threes throughout the painting, three ledges to the rock mountain, uh, the three points on the cross, three trees that stand to the right of the cross. These threes represent to me the triune elements of the human spirit and of God himself. We ourselves are triune, body, soul, and spirit. And we also have the triune God, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. This wonderful sense of the trio suggesting the completion of the unity between God and man as represented by the cross. The use of the horizon line suggests infinity. We are looking out into an infinite realm of distance. And yet it is not a flat plain that we might walk easily over. It is represented by rolling mountains, rock after rock, leading one upon the other into the distance. Mountains that must be crossed, that must be traversed if we are to make our way to our destiny. In the far distance we see the shafts of light suggesting the sun that has not yet risen, but that is coming. The sun shall soon be here and the daylight is coming. Now to me, this is very symbolic of the hope for the future. My faith as a Christian man is that God's hand is upon the earth and that there will be a new dawning of his love, a new dawning of hope as we approach this new millennium. You know, every now and then an artist is called upon to be part of something bigger than himself. I think of Norman Rockwell, uh, who in the 40s was inspired to create the Four Freedoms paintings if you study the history of World War II, you will realize that the early days of the war were very sad times for America. We had lost many key strategic battles and there was a feeling of disillusionment setting in on the American culture. During that time, Franklin Roosevelt and uh, Churchill uh, delivered their famous speeches about the four freedoms, identifying the four basic rights of humankind that the war was being fought to preserve. These were the freedom from want, Rockwell painted that. It was a Thanksgiving celebration, a family, everyday people enjoying their freedom from want. Freedom of speech, 
a man stands alone in a city council meeting and voices his opinion, perhaps an opinion not popular with others, but an opinion that is his own conviction of heart. He has the freedom to do that, the freedom of speech. Freedom from fear, a family tucks their children to bed at night. Under the arms of the father is a newspaper suggesting that bombings and terror are spreading throughout the world. And yet he is free from fear. He lives in a country that has protected him. And freedom of religion. Rockwell portrays the great spirit of humankind as people of all faiths gather to worship their God. Likewise, as we enter the new millennium, I feel a destiny to create a message that I would like to share as an artist. This truly is, for me, a landmark in my career, something that I feel God has positioned uh, me with an opportunity to share a message of hope with others about the coming millennium. One of the things that's exciting to me about this painting is that it is so symbolic and so universal in its message of hope. I mean, I believe the cross is the most powerful symbol on the face of the planet. It is truly a message that says hope in the midst of adversity, power to carry on in the midst of disparaging circumstances, and new life, a life that can be changed and set free from darkness. That's the symbol of the cross, not just in the Christian faith, but for people everywhere, the cross is a symbol of universal hope. We do not have to accept the world as it is. We can make it a brighter place. But you know, it doesn't get brighter by cursing the darkness. That does not help. We can curse the darkness all we want and the world will stay just as dark. But if we light a candle, if each of us in our own way light our light, let our light shine, this world will be a brighter place. Paintings can become tools that God uses to touch lives. I know this is true because every painting that I do, we receive countless letters from people all over the world who have in some way been touched by that painting. Now, I don't take much credit for that. I really believe God uses an artist or a preacher or a song writer or uh, creative people of different sorts to encourage others and to bring a message of his light and his love. So really it's God working through the artist, not the artist himself, who brings that message. And yet I do believe that this painting will be a messenger of hope for many. I believe that this painting will go into homes and will touch lives with the sense of God's love, with the healing power of his touch, with hope for the future, with the healing of marriages and relationships and families. All the pain that we suffer in life cannot stand in the wake of God's love. As we approach this new millennium together, just imagine if all of us with our talents, with our abilities, commit them to God that they might be used to light a light of hope in this world, to pursue good works and to pursue acts of love and blessing that might turn the course of history and change the darkness of this world into a new millennium, the millennium of light. God bless you as you join with me in making the world a brighter place.